I'm not trying to compose a certain image. I'm not trying to curate Aouya. I'm just trying to let it flow and just be as true as it can be. New album, debut album. I'm excited, very, very excited. It's called uh, Bad Side. It's basically about the vulnerable emotions that you feel right before you sleep and the first thing you feel when you wake up. Every song explores a different type of love, whether that's self-love or romantic love or spirituality, and then like eventually coming home to yourself. We wanted to release when we can actually play the music live. I don't want to just like release an album and just have it get lost in the digital <laughs> world. I really wanted to meet my audience and interact with them and just like give them this project that I've worked on for so long. Collaborated with an amazing choreographer called Dario Botner and uh, he actually choreographed You Are. Another perk was that we got to collaborate with a guy called Youssef Gamel. He goes by the name of Joe. Uh, he's a 3D animation artist and he did visuals for the entire album and it was incredible and he made the songs come to life. I think now I've matured as an artist, I know what I want, I know the sounds that work with my voice, I know what I want to say in my songwriting. I released Alters in 2014 actually, I was young, I was really young. Um, it was the first time I've ever written like a collection of songs, ever. It was the first time I've ever written, Aslan. <laughs> and then I was really confused as to what I want to do with my life. I had like a, this big identity crisis and I didn't know if I wanted music to be like my full-time job. I was thinking of switching to Arabic completely. If I wanted to get my career to a certain level, living in the region, living in Egypt, I was told that I have to change to Arabic. Um, so I started working on an Arabic album. Um, no one knows this, but I've done like four or five songs. I, I was deep in, into the album. Uh, and then I decided I'm not gonna do it. Uh, this is not me. My dad used to always uh, make me listen to the Scorpions and the Beatles and Dire Straits and Elton John. And I just grew up with all of this music around me. And after this album, I'm really experimenting with infusing both my different backgrounds, yani, uh, my Arabic Egyptian identity and my Western influences and like what I grew up listening to. Sometimes I start writing a song with just chords, like a chord progression. Sometimes I'm like walking in the street and this melody is like repeating in my head and I just like record it and then get to the studio and do something with that. Sometimes I feel something and I want to like say something and it's super uh, raw and I just write it in my notes, uh, turn that into a song later. Or I'm sitting with friends and we're jamming and like I come up with a melody line. So it's, there's no like one way that I do it, it's just what comes in the moment. So last year I opened for Oscar and the Wolf and I opened for Balthazar in Cairo Jazz. And these shows were incredible, I was dying, I was fangirling. A year prior, I had seen Oscar and the Wolf at Segat Festival. I was in the front row and I was like, I was dreaming like in my head, but without actually saying it out loud. I was like, nifsi, 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 to open for them one day. And then a year later, I'm like actually on stage opening for them. So it was an incredible experience. If I can imagine myself collaborating with someone, I think it would be Tamino or maybe James Blake, or, uh, I mean, nothing's impossible.